Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Levon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you one technique that you can do prenatally, meaning before labor even starts, and then also that you can do during labor if you need to that can help turn your baby from OP to OA. So I originally learned this technique through Spinning Baby's website, which I will link down below because they can be super helpful. But I wanna be clear that I am in no way affiliated with Spinning Babies. I am not an instructor. I have only ever been to their basic workshop, but they are an amazing resource to you guys to check out. And so I will make sure and link them down below. This technique was originally created by a woman named Deb Lawrence. And I will also link the original video that I saw many, many moons ago that then I was like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful. Let me see how it works. And then I started using it with my clients and have seen some success with it. And so I wanted to share it with you. But before I dip it low and dip my hips for you, make sure that you subscribe down below, give it a like, share it with a friend or your mommy groups or whoever else you might think might find it helpful. Also, make sure you check out part one and two related to OP babies, because if you don't know what OP is, there's two very helpful videos, including one that talks all about the other positions that you can do to help turn your baby from OP to OA. So without further ado, let's start dipping the hip and rotating these babies. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean over and both legs are gonna be super straight. And I will show you this from like a backwards angle as well. In a second, I'm making sure I don't have emoji stickers on my butt because I did have them on my butt earlier for, for nurses. So you're gonna lean over, legs are totally straight. So I'm like stretching, okay? You're gonna relax your body down and then pick a leg and one of your legs is gonna stay super straight, like locked knees. The other leg is gonna bend at the lowest angle you possibly could get at, okay? So this is gonna look like that. Now, notice what's happening. My left hip with my straight leg has to pop up versus like that. So what I'm doing is I am like creating the biggest angle of a hip pop. We're dipping this hip, okay? We're doing like, I wish I could play dip it low right now because that's what I think about. Okay, so you dip this hip and then what you're gonna do is like a figure eight pattern. So it's gonna dip down, go all the way over and rotate your weight to the other leg and come up. So now my right leg is straight. This one's gonna come down. So I'm back together. Then I'm gonna go left, down, dip it up, come back together, down, dip it up, back together. Now you can rest down here and really like Dip it low, pick it up slow, <laughs> okay, like this. This feels a little too much stretch for me, so I'm gonna go up on my arms and I'm just gonna re relax, rotate, and rotate. Dipping the hip, kind of creating the biggest movements that I can, like the lowest that I can get this knee, the better, creating that figure eight pattern. I'm gonna show you from the back angle. So I go here, and then drop, Dip, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, down, up. So this dip the hip technique is going to likely soften everything out. It's like a really awkward forced motion, right? Like when was the last time that you dipped it low, keeping one leg totally straight? Like I feel a pull on like my hamstring in my groin area, like my psoas, it's all kind of pulling for me. And that's what we want because your whole body is interconnected and there might be tension in there that can be loosened up by, by some movements like this. So I would say do this if you're not in labor, 10 minutes a day, if you know your baby is OP. Okay, and this is my own personal protocol. I'm in no way affiliated with anybody that I mentioned before. This is just what I tell my patients to do. And so then you're 10 minutes a day. Now, if you're in labor and you know your baby's OP and you've tried all the other things and you're still having back labor, that you would do this between contractions for about 10 to 20 minutes, okay? Now, mind you, if you can do it during a contraction, then God bless you, like go for it. But ultimately it would be between contractions, we're dipping it low and then coming back up straight, breathing through contractions. And then, back up when you're done. Now, if you're doing this for a while, what may happen is 
You may also want to just do some big hip circles and kind of like take advantage of the time leaning over here. But you may find that all of a sudden, if you felt resistance on one side, that all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's kind of like much looser. And then feel your belly again and see, did baby turn? Because it may have. I hope you found that super helpful. Try this technique. Let me know what it feels like down below. If you want more from me, check out the description box. You've heard it before, so make sure you do that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, and then also make sure you click that little subscribe -y button. And then, until next time, don't forget to flex and flow, and I will see you soon. Bye. There we go. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can see my butt. We are popping the hip. Ooh, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Hey, dip it low, pick it up slow. Put it all around, pick it out, no one at all. Pop to pop to pop that thing. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Hey, pop, pop. Okay, wait, that's too sexy. Okay, I'm losing it. Okay, Woo, sweating, sweating. I got all excited. I got excited. Dip it low, whatever it takes. Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so sweaty. Ah, oh, dip it low, pick it up slow.